We attempted to make a classic Yorkshire pudding recipe, but made some mistakes along the way. Hopefully you can learn a few things from our failures. For the batter, we started with all-purpose flour that we should have sifted into a large bowl. We then added salt and whisked it together. Now this is where we made our next mistake. We didn't add enough milk to the flour, so we ended up with a really thick, globby batter. Next, we added three whole eggs and whisked again. This wasn't necessarily a mistake, but beating the eggs beforehand would definitely have helped. As a result, it required a lot of work to whisk the batter until it was smooth, and even then there were a few lumps. The next step is to chill the batter and meanwhile start heating a muffin tin in the oven at 425 Fahrenheit. Next, we poured about one centimeter of oil in the bottom of each cup while being really careful not to get burned. We then returned the tray to the oven for a few minutes to get really hot. Now is where we encountered our last and most important mistake. The key to a good Yorkshire pudding is to keep the pan as hot as possible at all times. Filling the cups with the ladle took way too long, and you'll see that our Yorkshires suffered because of it. Next time we'll try filling them with a pitcher instead. These then went back in the oven for about 15 minutes. When they came out, they had risen slightly, but not nearly as high as we wanted. The texture was also more dense than we wanted, but in the end, they still tasted good. We'll try again soon, so stay tuned for attempt number two. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Dished.